Okay, well, this is Dr. James, and today I was going to do some interesting experiments. This is quartz crystal that I got. Uh, my buddy was working with some crystals too. Um, I'm going to put some high voltage on this and measure this in the presence of a psychotronic field. I have my uh, uh, torsion pendulum and, and uh, psychotronic rotator and a Faraday cage back here in a sealed glass container. And uh, let's do some experiments and see what happens. Okay, so here I have quartz crystal hooked to my high voltage generator. And look at this. Produces a very strong effect. I've already charged these up with my hand energy. a Faraday cage. Very strong field. Just a very strong field through the Faraday cage. Okay. Bring it back some. Let it calm down. I'm gonna drop it. Now I've done some uh, testing before with uh, charging up. You know, I put my hands on the container, charge it up with my psychotronic energy, or life energy, or whatever you want to call it, and um, then I use high voltage generator. Let go. Shall I make this guy in one of my videos? Okay, and. Uh, it can uh, measure the field, or it can sense the field through the Faraday cage, which should be impossible, because right? Faraday cage sh uh, shields out all electrostatic fields, and this is what this is, an electrostatic field, and it should shield out most electromagnetic fields as well, provided um, there's enough uh, skin depth to, uh, uh, you know, skin depth is a term that um, applies to how far the arc penetrates into a conductor. Provided that the conductor is thick enough, it will shield out electromagnetic fields as well. And uh, it seems like combining the high voltage with our crystal here seems to amplify the effect. Very interesting. Now, this is very similar if you study Reichenbach. Reichenbach was looking at um, these uh, what he called OD fields from uh, living things. They also came from magnets, and they also emanated a field from the crystal, which uh, certain sensitives could see. Very interesting work. Reichenbach was a, probably one of the first uh, really credible scientists to study this uh, unusual energy. Anyway, very interesting. This is uh, Dr. James, and thanks for watching.